Okay guys, so it's about that time where we're going to start cranking things up and getting ready for the season. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is something called a soil test. Now I'll see a lot of people on social media and they'll ask, what should I put in my yard? What product should I put in my soil? And the, everything starts with having a soil test done because that's going to tell you what your soil or your grass may be deficient in, what it's good with, or what it may need a little bit more of to improve things. So let's uh, talk about soil test now. I recently this year was going to do the Clemson soil test. Um, I've done the Georgia soil test the last couple of years. I looked at Clemson, looked at NC State. But then I started looking at a lot of uh, private companies and uh, did a little research. And the one that I ended up going with is the My Soil Kit. Now this will uh, test your pH balance, your nitrogen, your phosphorus, your potassium, your calcium, magnesium, sulfur, iron, manganese, boron, copper, zinc and sodium. You'll get a box just like this, open it up to the inside, there'll be two containers inside here, or two things. One is a scoop, put your soil in. Two is this little container that you're actually going to send your uh, soil sample off in. You can get a look right there. They supply you with a uh, mailing return uh, envelope, and then they give you information on how to actually do the soil test, front and back. Now a soil test is fairly simple to do. Some people may have the opinions that I don't want to have to deal with that, I'll hire a yard company out to do it, or a lawn company out to do it, or I'll just put out a 10-10-10, I don't want to deal with the soil test. But it's fairly easy. You can get a small little uh, garden shovel, you can get a regular size shovel, or you can get a tool like this. Okay, bring it up close. And what I'll do with this, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to go in various parts of my yard, and I'll pull up a soil sample with this. Now, I don't want to choose just one part of my yard and send that off, because that may give me a sample for just a certain point in my yard that's rich in micronutrients, while the rest of my yard may be um, poor in the levels of micronutrients. <coughs> so, I want to take, in a yard like this, I've got, including over on this side, I've got about 3,000 square feet. So, I'm going to want to take about 16 samples. So what I would do, now underneath here is a, a large bed of slate. That's what a lot of this neighborhood is. So I've been working with uh, um, putting a lot of humic acid down, um, humichar, uh, biosolids, things like that, that I can put on the yard to try to soften the soil some. But I'm going to try to go down right here. Man. Now, it's not great. I can find other places that are better, but this is what I extracted from the soil. I want to take this top layer off. That's my thatch layer. And then I'm going to take this middle portion right here, and I'm going to use that as a soil sample. Now, I've already done this in my front and backyard, so I'm going to show you. So, this is one of the plugs that I pulled out here. And this, I put it in this container. Now, if you look in there, you'll see. What I'm going to do is I left this drying overnight in an area that was warm that would take all the moisture out of it. I'm going to crush it up, and then I'm going to put that in this container uh, that uh, my soil provided to me, and I'm going to send that off. Now, the key about one key purpose of this, uh, or part of this container, is you need to have a clean, sterile container. If you've been mixing chemicals and there's anything left inside this, then the trace elements are going to be included in with your soil test that you have done. So it'll give you an incorrect reading of what you may or may not need. So just remember that if you start to pull the plugs and you're putting them in a container, that this container needs to be clean. Now, my soil says they'll have the test back to you in about a week, the results of it, and it'll be available online. But if you go with a um, extension office in your town, like here, I could go with the University of Georgia, you may get it back a little bit sooner than that. Um, but like I said, I've used those before, the extension offices. Um, I just decided this time to try something a little bit different, and we'll see how it goes. So, um, another thing that you need to remember is that you do not want to go out on a day like this and put fertilizer out, and then a couple days later, after it's rained or something, say, hey, I'm going to take a soil sample now and send my soil test off. 
because that's going to uh, that's going to mess with your results. You want to wait between 45 to 60 days after you've done any application to uh, come and try to do a soil test and send that off for the results. Uh, that way it won't be skewed by the fact of whatever application that you put out on the yard. So it, um, I say, hey, I'm going to go out here and I'm going to put 32% uh, percent nitrogen out and my soil test comes back and it says you've got high nitrogen levels. Well, it's because I put that 32% out. Um, also, why do we do these soil tests? Because it's going to tell me if I am high in phosphorus in my yard, I'm not going to want to go out and buy a bag of melorganite and spread a ton of melorganite on my yard because melorganite's high in phosphorus and it'll increase my levels even more. What does that do? Well, it could kill your grass, first of all. It could mess your soil up. It could thin your grass out. It could make it where your grass is not as green as it could possibly be. Um, and that's just the same thing with your uh, micronutrients and your macronutrients. Um, you don't want to just go because you hear everybody else is buying lime and say, well, it's spring's fixing to get here, so I'm going to put a bunch of lime out on my yard. You don't know if you need to raise or lower your pH balance. So keep that in mind. You want to do a soil test right now before you're doing anything for the season to your yard. Then after you get those results back, that's when you want to see, hey, I need uh, more phosphorus in my soil. I need more copper in my soil, whatever the case may be your uh, soil test is going to read give you those results back where you can read and see them. Let's go and let's put the uh, samples that I've taken from my front and backyard in these containers and talk about how to ship it off. Okay guys we're inside the house now it's a little bit warmer in here. I am at the breakfast table and my wife would not like to know that I'm doing this at her breakfast table. But let's talk about my soil, the kit that I've got here. I'm not paid for, I'm not a representative of, I'm getting nothing out of, no endorsements, anything by doing this. Like I said, I've used UGA a couple times. I was gonna do Clemson, North Carolina State this year. I decided to go online after reading about a few of these kits and see how good they actually are. Read to you what they test. Um, let's see here, blah, blah, blah. You register this online, this actual kit. So let's, here, we have directions here. Let's talk about these directions. So this tells you what to do. I'm covering up right here. It gives my soil test kit number, so that's just good for me. Um, but you're gonna get a jar like this right here. It's got a solution in it. They say do not dump this solution out. It needs this exact amount of solution and there's something else in here. They give you this bag, or not bag, envelope. Once that you've completed all this, you put this in here, you send it off. The postage is already paid for. It's as simple as that. So you're gonna go out and get your plugs. I put them in this container right here, this clean sterile container. Now I'm gonna pour them into this baggie and I'm gonna crunch them up. You don't want any type of plant matter. You see that right there that's got grass on it? You do not want that in there. So what I'm gonna do is once all this is smashed up, man, my wife would get me, she knew I was doing this. Once all this is smashed up, then I'm going to pour it into this container send it off so that's where we're at right now you'll get your results in six to eight days um, at www.mysoiltesting.com uh, you can also check on the status during that time uh, once that you get it back it gives you your analysis then you can start amending your soil don't go out and buy all these bags of fertilizer weed and feed and all this and not know what's in your soil because you could be creating a bigger problem you won't be able to dominate your neighbors on the back it's giving you just an example of how you can go about your yard and pull plugs from different areas. Again, you want to spread it out. You don't want to get a one plug from one area and send that off. You want to be able to cross-reference your entire yard. So, let's take this and put these samples down in there. Okay, seal it up. Get all the air out of that first. There we go. All right. It says you want to break up any big um, plugs that you pulled out. And this is all breaking down pretty good. I, I actually pulled these plugs yesterday. Um, it got pretty cold here last night down into the 20s. And so I brought this inside and I put it in the laundry room where it stays a little bit warmer um, and it dried out. The backyard is a different story. Well, yeah, it dried those out too, but the backyard has a large tree canopy 
If you look down there, I can still see some moisture down in there. So that yard doesn't get as dry as my, dried out as my front yard does. Um, so we'll have to take a different look at it. All right, I think that's pretty good. Now again, I do not want any plant matter in this. What is plant matter? That can be the roots from your flowers that you're sending off the soil sample for. This isn't just for lawns. You can send this off for anything. The uh, soil around the tree, um, the soil in your garden, the soil in your flower beds, the soil in your yard. So, first thing I'm going to do. Alright, so it wants me to, um, let's see here. Using the provided scoop, collect one scoop of the mixed soil and add it to this jar. Uh, and it's saying this jar contains D1 water and nutrient absorbing capsule. So that's what that capsule is. So, just going to make sure that all of this is mixed up really good. And it appears to be. But, I got it here in front of me and I'm going to do it and do it right. That's why I tell my daughters all the time, if you're going to take the time to do something, then do it right the first time. That way you won't have to go back and redo it again. And that's a good lesson for everybody. All right. So, got my scoop down in here. And I can already see some plant matter on there. If you can see the roots on top of that, the old dead grass, I'm going to take that out. Take that out. All right, that looks pretty good. That's a rock. All right, so I'm gonna take this scoop, put it down here into this water. Be careful to remove any other stuff, which I'm seeing a little bit of. Okay. All right. That's it. That was an entire scoop full. So, there we go. The cap's on tight. There's a code there on the side that matches up with my paperwork, um, the lid of it there, and I'm going to set it to the side. When I'm done and I've registered this, I'm going to put it in this envelope, and in just a little while, I'm going to the uh, um, post office to mail off some stickers and stuff and so I'll take this with me and mail it off. So that's it. It is as simple as that to do a soil sample. Do not listen to your neighbor say they're going to buy some weed and feed or go online and ask some people what should I put on my yard. Only you can do this because your yard is specific. What your neighbor across the road has for soil may be different than yours even though it looks hey our grass is both green it could be completely different. So do a soil sample Wait a week, get the results back, and then go from there. I need to put these micronutrients in the ground because um, I, I, uh, there's a, a deficiency there. I need to put this macro on my yard because I don't have enough phosphorus in it. I need to put um, um, lime on my yard because my pH is low, uh, that type of thing. So that's it. On a personal note, I do appreciate everybody that's been swapping stickers with me back and forth. Uh, I'll uh, show you the result of that in probably another week. I'll have a good amount in, and I've got a board out here in the garage. I've been keeping up with them all. So that's it from Bermuda Brian. I do appreciate it. If you like this content, subscribe to me. Uh, click the like button, comment, do all that good stuff there. But thanks a lot. Man, I cannot wait to start seeing some good content videos coming out here as we get closer to the spring. Y'all have a good one.